Right, then uh, what do you have there, Jeremy? Uh, six. Six this time, Sam? Uh, six, but a bit iffy. A bit iffy. Well, we'd better go first with the iffy one. Uh, Entold. How are you spelling that? E N T O L D? That doesn't sound right. I don't think so. I'm pretty, pretty sure so. not. I will obviously check <laughs> it. What does it mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's not that. Like <laughs> Jeremy, okay. what have you got? Lasted. Last, lasted. Lasted. Lasted is okay. That's fine. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Um, there's also a North American term, uh, a sand lot, which is a piece of land used by children for games. A, a sand, sand lot. lot. It sounds yeah. right, actually. A lot, a lot, piece of ground, full sand, of sand, sounds right. Like a parking lot, you yeah. have, yes, yeah. yeah. car park. Okay, at 18 play 11, Jeremy did a bit of catching up there. And we're going to go to the numbers board. Sam, your first time with these today. Uh, one, one big and five small, please, okay, Gary. Okay, Sam, we'll go for that, I think. Let's see. Here we are, you two. Juggle with these. Four, six, and another four. Seven, nine, and 25. Uh, nice target. 414. And a clock. One four, Sam. Four one four. Yeah, Jeremy. Four one three. Four one three. So we we'll go with the four one four, Sam. Oh, sorry, it's a four one three. Yeah. Four one three. As well. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> four one three. Yeah. Four one three. Jeremy, we have to go with you. Twenty five times four. Twenty five multiplied by four. One hundred. Times four. Multiplied again. Four hundred. Plus seven plus six. Plus the seven plus the six, and that gives you four hundred and thirteen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what about the odd one, then, Cara? Uh, yes, you can get the odd one. It just depends. You see, you've got four and four here, uh, which gives you 16. And if you had <coughs> made that 16 by saying 9 plus 7, then multiply by 25, that gives you 400. Then you can add up the rest of the numbers, which gives you the 14 to add on. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> right, there's an interesting score here as we go to Arthur. It's 18 points each for our place. Arthur, welcome to Countdown. Oh, what's a nice to South it. London boy going to talk about today? <laughs> yeah, I'm a South London boy. You know, in North London, they have little blue plaques commemorating famous people. In South London, we have big yellow signs saying, did you see this murder? <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you a joke, and then I'm going to do something funny with it, I hope. A man uh, dies and goes to heaven, and his wife manages to contact him through a medium and says, uh, so uh, what's it like up there? What do you do all the time? He says, well, I get up. I have something to eat, uh, do a bit of swimming, have a bit of sex, eat in swimming sex, that's it really. And she said, well that's funny because when you were alive you didn't eat much, you couldn't swim and you weren't that interested in sex. And he says, oh yes, he says, but down there I wasn't a duck. <laughs> Now, what I'd like to do, I, I, I have discovered, I'm interested in the notion of translation. That poetry is that which is lost in translation, as Robert Frost said. So I've actually got this joke translated on the computer from English to French, then French to German, and then German <laughs> back to English. Uh, and this is, uh, this is how it goes. A man falls down and goes to the sky. Its wife contacts it by a centre and says, as goes you. <laughs> I am very well, he say that. Make for you there all day long then. Well, I wave, have something to eat, have a bath, have a certain sex on the following day. <laughs> something to eat, swim, sex, and all are real. <laughs> Who are strangely, say them, because when you were living, you ate not much, you could not swim, and are honest, you were not that, that regarding the sex were insured. <laughs> he says, but I was not a duck downward in there. <laughs> And that is why we'll all end up half man, half computer in the end, but the, the comedian will be the last to go, I think. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the tea time teaser. The words here are toy balls, toy balls, and the clue, definitely not furniture for little girls. Definitely not furniture for little girls. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
right, the words on the card here, toy balls that include definitely not furniture for little girls. Simple answer, toy boys, toy boys. Right, uh, the scores here are level 18 points each and Jeremy's going to put some letters on the board. Consonant, please, girl. Thank you, Jeremy. G. And a vowel. I. And a consonant. <laughs> no offence, uh, that's a T. <laughs> and another, please. Not personal, P. And another. And S. And a vowel. E. A consonant, please. R. And a vowel. O. And a consonant. And that is F. And here's the clock. Jeremy, what do you get there? A uh, dodgy eight. What about Sam? A uh, six. A uh, six. Let's have the six. A uh, poster. Poster. And your dodgy eight? Foggiest. Foggiest. Very <laughs> unlikely, but a lovely, lovely word. It's not there. <laughs> what about <laughs> foggiest, though? Foggiest might be. Like, as in, the, you know, he's the foggiest of all. Yeah, foggy will definitely be in. Um, no. Foggiest, but not foggiest. <laughs> so the points go to Samira there, then. And that's all you've got to offer from the corner there. Uh, no, no, no we've seven. got we've hundreds of them over here. Oh, of course. Repost. I repost. Repost. Um, and then, uh, now, this is Susan. Porgies. Porgies. Yeah. Yes. Which are, I gather, fish. Yes, fish related to sea bream. Right, what have we got? 24 points for Sam, 18 for Je uh, Jeremy. Sam, you're going to put the next letters on the board, please. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. <laughs> T. And another consonant. And N. A vowel. I. A vowel. E. Another vowel. A. A consonant. R. Another consonant. B. A vowel. I. And another consonant, please. And D. Here's that clock. Sam, what do you got? A seven. A seven. Jeremy? Seven. Seven. Uh, Jeremy, let's have your seven. Trained. Can you say that again? Trained. Trained. Yep. Brained. Trained and brained. Yes, that's right. absolutely fine. And Arthur's yeah. looking intently there. Yeah, no, I've, I've not... Uh, rabid is a... But that's only fine, it's just a nice word. I, I, Depends know, <laughs> what involvement you've got with it. It's a nice it. word when it applies to someone else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've done a bit rabid. Beard. Banter. But they're, not, they're even less than... What's the camera? Well, oh, yeah, there is um, a seven there, and it does exactly what it says on the tin, really. It's ant bird, an ant bird, and it's an insectivorous, long-legged, short-tailed bird. Found in South America. Oh. Well, and it yeah, eats so ants, presumably. Absolutely, yeah. Right, Sam's got 31, <laughs> Jeremy's got 25, and Jeremy's going to be putting letters on the board now. Consonant, please, Carl. R. And a vowel. E. Uh, consonant. Uh, consonant. S. And another. M. And another. And L. Vowel. E. And a consonant. D. Uh, consonant, please. C. And another vowel. And a vowel, thank you. And A. And here's the clock.